Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. We're on Monday the 6th of May. It's a bank holiday Monday here in the UK so I have been off and I have been out and about in the garden uh, doing various bits and pieces. <clears throat> now what I want to do is something that I didn't intend to do this quite this early and that is to, to plant out some beans. These are Greek Gigante. They're a large butter bean. And I sowed these on the 20th of April, not realising they were going to grow quite so big. <laughs> this is one batch of them. I've got some more. Which aren't quite so large. So my intention was to plant these out mid-May, but they're really getting awful big, so, and we're not due any frosts now. Even although we're not at our last frost date, there's no more frost forecast, or certainly not for the next couple of weeks, so we're just about there, I think. So I'm not panicking about the frost, uh, so I should be fine getting these out, actually. So I've already got the, the structure that I'm going to grow them up, and I'm just going to pop some uh, blood fish and bone and chicken manure pellets down and to top up the fresh compost that's already there. Sorry about the traffic. And then I'll get them in. There you go. Root system's nice. So I've never grown Greek Gigante before. They certainly uh, were easy enough to get started. <laughs> um, here's hoping that they do well uh, where they're planted and I get some lovely beans to use and some to save, of course, for next year. Tell me all about them if you've grown them in the past. What is your experience been of growing them? Are they easy? Um, what do you do with them once you've actually harvested them? soups and stews I guess <laughs> which will be great because I do love butter beans anyway just a short video for you today just to show you these Greek Gigante and show them going into the ground I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you again very very soon bye bye for now